What's up guys, it's Liam, and today I'm gonna to be giving you another review on what it was like to be on Ninja Warrior UK. This one's gonna focus on the second episode that I was in, which I believe was episode six, um, and the run that took place during that episode. I've already got a video that covers the first episode that I was in, so if you wanna check that out, that'll be somewhere else on the channel, I'll link it in the description. Um, this is the second one, this is the semi-finals, so I'm gonna be giving you a behind the scenes look of what it was like for me to be on the show and my kind of first person perspective from each of the obstacles and what they were like to do, okay? So let's crack right into it. Here comes Boy Van Liam. <laughs> One of Rochelle's favorites, I think, Cammy. Liam is at UFO, which out of nowhere is taking people down. This guy. So UFO was quite an interesting one because um, people had already had a bit of trouble on this. Uh, what happens is you slide down and the UFO does drops like this, and you have to hold on uh, while it drops down. And some people have been holding it in front of their face like this, and what would happen is they'd drop down and bash their face in. And like some people had like huge bruises. I know, I remember this one woman, she had a huge bruise, but I don't think they showed it on the show. It was like a lump all on her forehead came up immediately. And also I think Darren Perez, he did like the whole course after being knocked and, and gashing his eyebrow and then he, just, he did the rest of the course, luckily. Um, but it had taken a few people out, and I don't think they showed it on the show, but it was like a really dangerous one. So what you had to do was make sure that your arms were almost fully straight, which of course you don't want to do because then you're only relying on your grip and you've got nothing to take out that shock, that bounce as you go down. So you have to strike this kind of perfect balance between not too far in front of your face and not too high up. So this was a bit of a dodgy one, so I was careful. This guy, as we just heard, Rochelle likes to call boy band Liam. Very much looking young and lively. And like he could do a good chorus. Oh, 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 oh. he's giving himself a bit of trouble. Oh, so it was interesting to like, uh, I was uh, at the end of that one, I was so focused on making sure that I didn't bash my head in on things. I wasn't concentrating on the fact that you had to let go at the end. Um, so I swung back up and I was like, oh, should probably pay attention to what's going on. And then I jumped off and just made it to the to the mat, which was lucky. Um, yeah, okay. My bad Liam needs to stop doing that to me. Now for Broken Bridge. So Broken Bridge was really interesting because the as always with Ninja Warrior, the balance obstacles are the weirdest ones because they're something that you can't train for. Um, everything else, you can train strength, you can train your stamina, you can train your grip and all of this stuff. But when it comes to, and of course you can train your balance, but when it comes to the balance obstacles, there's something that you've usually never come up against in real life. So it's pretty difficult to plan ahead for those. So they're always a bit of a wild card when it comes to this. Thankfully, the broken bridge was actually quite an easy one. They didn't move around too much. And as long as you were kind of light on your feet and quick, you know, it happened okay. There's my family who'd come, my mum on the left, uh, and my little brother, then my sister, my dad and my stepmom. They all came to cheer me on, which was really nice. Always really nice to have someone in the audience. Here we go, come on Liam, he's eyeing up the wing nuts. The flying somebody. So you can see, like, uh, I'm kind of shaking my head and smiling, and in a minute you hear the presenter say, oh, you know, he doesn't look sure about this one. The funny thing was, I was actually smiling uh, and kind of shaking my head, at, um, trying to ignore uh, the crowd, as you can hear, they're going Liam, Liam, which is uh, really nice, obviously, but kind of gets to your head when you're trying to do an obstacle. You're like, oh, this is like, whilst they're cheering you on, it also adds pressure to the situation, which is, is kind of like counterintuitive because you'd think it'd be like, and I know for some people it definitely just kind of fills them for en with energy, but sometimes for me it just, it's kind of like, uh, it's an extra bit of overwhelming and it goes on. So I was just kind of shaking my eyes, like smiling about it and laughing about the fact that it was half putting me off, even though it was supposed to be encouraging me. Um, so that's what that's all about. He's not sure, is he, Cammy? No, he's definitely not sure, Ben. He's caused a few problems mm. tonight. This could be hard for him. Ooh. Ooh. He just clings on. There you he go. Just cling on. So I just about caught that first one. I, this was like a. I was really looking forward to having a go on this one because it looked super fun, but it's. Um, it's a really hard one to do because the plastic's quite slippy. It is just made out of plastic and uh, they're quite far apart. You have to generate this kind of swing. I've never swung sideways before. Um, but, and, and it was so high, like it doesn't look that high, but when you're actually there, you can see how far off the ground you are and you can, 
it adds another element to it. And um, yeah, so I was hoping, I, I also wasn't sure how I was gonna do this one. Some of them you kind of plan in advance, you're like, oh, maybe I'll tackle this like this. For this one, I was just gonna let go and see where my hands landed. And thankfully they landed where they did. And luckily you can swing from the back and not just, you don't have to readjust and go to the side. So as you'll see. Just clings on. There you go. Just cling on. Well done, Liam. You managed to rescue that over the plate. That was then. much more assured. Retrieved it, you'd have to say. Much better, sorry. Made it to the second one uh, fine, which was great. Uh, it was actually easier to go from the back and do it like a normal lache where you actually swing forwards and just grip onto the side. But yeah, it's always sketchy because they're so slippy. And then I was obviously so happy that I made it, so that was good. Comes to sliding pole grasper. Now, oh, how's he going to approach this? Yeah. Very quick. Very quickly. This one I was just like, all right, let's go attack it as fast as possible. I knew that my hands were going to slide down those poles, so I was just like, okay, I've got to swing, slide right into it and get as much momentum as I can to just keep going on and, uh, and then keep going. I was um, careful, as you can see, there's one kind of either to, to either side and I wasn't going to waste energy from going from one to another to another, so I just kind of climbed around the outside. There you go, come on Liam. So he's seen enough weddings, of course, as a videographer to know what makes a perfect match. As opposed to the person who employed us coming to do this job. He was at my Classic presenter banter. Straight up the wall. Mid speed of stage one. So on the last one, as you have seen, I kind of did a vault down and then I was like, okay, I don't know how hard this is going to be, so I'm going to take it properly and like assess it and then go. And uh, it turned out to be quite easy. So once I'd done it, uh, this time I was like, I'm not going to waste any time. So I just got straight down, straight out of the wall. wall was really fun. You just go with the momentum and you're enjoying yourself. Here he comes. There you go. Well done. So you can kind of see my hand do like a, a bounce down on that because I wasn't, I was, when we were talking about it backstage, um, me and my friends sometimes do this thing where we're like, foie, 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 you know, like a, a a buzzer going down, we realized it was making the same noise. So we were gonna see if we could get the, the buzzer to do like a wah, wah, wah. But unfortunately it wasn't wired like that, so it didn't work. <laughs> but a few of us tried it, you can see on the episode, like we're trying to like push it a couple of times. So that's what that was all about. <laughs> Nothing slow motion there from the videographer. He put his foot down to complete stage one in one minute 45. Look at every inch, the pop star right now. Liam's going for it. Good momentum on the momentum shift. He locks it into the... Oh. Yes. yes! Boom. So it was uh, really difficult. This part, we, what we saw was a lot of people were going up and they were trying to shift, like it's called the momentum shift. You have to shift the pole and lock it into this top catch thing. And that was supposed to be the hard part of the whole obstacle. So I was like, okay, I've got to run as fast as I can into this, grab it and ram it straight in. So the second it locked in, I was obviously super relieved. And I was like, yes, this is great. Like I've done it. Um, assuming that was the hard part of the obstacle. Um, as you'll see, that's not really the case as I'm climbing along here. See Rochelle suddenly make an appearance. <laughs> when it's done well, it's beautiful to watch. Makes it look easy. Oh. So I'm realizing here that I have to keep my arms bent because uh, the pole is about this thick and it's not something you can just grab onto. And, uh, and my hands are slipping. They're starting to like go like this. I'm like, oh crap. I think it's going to be okay. Um, but I am like fully holding on as hard as I can. And uh, my, my hands start to slip and my forearms start to tighten up. So I go for the swing. Makes it look easy. Oh. Isn't it just? You see the people struggle on that. And as you see, there you go. I caught my hand on the side and then grabbed the bar and just slipped right down. My forearms were exhausted. My hands were sweaty as anything. As I've said in the previous episode, you can't use chalk. You can't use anything that kind of dries your hands out. And this is made out of like this foam hard plastic stuff. And you're just there and your hands are sweaty. Um, if I'd have gone back, I know that I would have done this. I would have got to the end, put my legs over the top, hung, let my arms relax and wiped my hands off because that would have made the difference between falling in and not falling in, unfortunately. Um, it was super interesting to see because I swung. Uh, this was like the most slow motion point ever because I swung, let go, saw my hands do this. And I was like, surely not. And then before I knew it, I was in the water. And the first thing I, I thought of actually when I hit the water was I haven't packed a spare pair of shoes. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to fall in. And uh, I landed and I was like, oh no, that means a five hour train journey home tonight with uh, soaking wet shoes. So <laughs> that was a, a rookie error. But yeah, there you go.
I didn't see that coming. Oh no! Boy Van Liam has been dropped from the 2019 lineup. Bad. You might not know this, but I've sort of nicknamed you. Oh, what's that? Boy Van Liam. Doesn't he look like he should be in a boy band? <laughs> So that was the first time I'd actually heard that she'd been calling me boy band Liam this whole time, which was kind of interesting and quite nice because, you know, Rochelle, she's a nice girl. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was nice to have a kind of little identity when you're on the show. Have you enjoyed yourself? On this I've had a great time, it's been great. Well, listen, yeah. you will always be my number one. Make some noise for Liam! <laughs> so there you go. That was the run. Um, I really did have a, an amazing time while I was there. And, uh, I really would love to go back on this year if I'm allowed to. And I've been training pretty hard for that. I've been getting in the rock climbing and a lot of strength related to my grip to make sure that I was, uh, I'm actually ready for those, those more heavier grip objects. Um, yeah, it was a fantastic time. Super good experience. Uh, really interesting to do. Um, it's not much else to say. I covered a lot of it in the in the previous episode, but yeah, um, definitely learnt my lesson on the obstacle that I fell off on, and have been training that kind of thing religiously since then, which has been great. Um, yeah, everyone was super friendly. It was really nice to be on the show. Not much more I can say. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this review. If there's anything that I didn't cover, leave a comment, and I will reply and let you know what what went down. Um, yeah, on this channel we usually do a thing called Parkour Journeys where I take my friends and we go on little adventures around, do some parkour, meet some cool people, go to some cool places. So if you are interested in that kind of thing, um, go and check it out. All right, guys. See you on the next one.